my god. Welcome, ladies and gentle fish. Wait, so you're just not gonna introduce yourself? She doesn't even go here. Hi, today we're gonna be talking about the Vampire Diaries crew and rating them on who was most epic and who was literal <laughs> trash. Okay. And then like if we don't know you then you're just irrelevant. Categories are I was feeling epic. Mm -hmm. At the top. At the top. Hello brother. The cure is your medium one. Because you know it was right there in the middle like, of the show. Everybody wanted the cure, so it was just like it was there. But the cure was really bogus because it was like, oh, it's just like a one <laughs> sip and you're done. I mean like No waterfall in it. <laughs> That's it's a whole other thing. Another thing. All right, under okay. Here is... <laughs> An eternity of misery. I like it. And then the other side because die. Because we literally die. <laughs> literally, please. Die. And then irrelevancy is a curse because I don't I don't know them. Like who are you? That's not a line, but I guess don't know who they are. Okay. okay. So want to get started? Yes, let's get started. Okay, the first person that we have here is Miss Caroline Forbes. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Human Caroline, she wasn't it, but she turned to a vampire really, really early in the show. Yeah, she did. And her character development, being a vampire, was probably the best. I think she handled it the best, you know? Yeah. 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 Because at first, it was Rocky at first. Yeah. She was much like Lexi. Yeah. Because... She taught even Stefan, who has been a vampire longer than her. Right, right. So, I mean, I was feeling epic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yes. Okay, Caroline did handle herself good as a vampire. But Caroline also overstepped a lot in the show. When Caroline pissed me off the most was with Elena and Damon. Like, oh my god, this is off. just because you're a baby Damon and Elena Shipper. No, no, no. This is your I'm a big Damon Shipper, okay? I thought Caroline was super ag because it was just like, you really need to chill out. <laughs> like, I don't know, would you do that to one of your friends? Like, at like the camp thing, you mean? Like, okay, you remember when they were, uh, it was Caroline, Bonnie, and Elena, and they were sleeping at the Salvatore house, they had a little sleepover or whatever, and Caroline was just, like, throwing little slights I know at that, Elena. I know that time. Caroline overstepped in Elena's relationship a lot, but I don't like Elena, so I don't really care. So, I think okay, that... Okay, 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 and then, like, but don't you think that the whole thing was just based off of, like, jealousy, because it was, like... But then you turned around and got with Stefan. Like, the I whole don't time, think that it was like, based off of. Like, no, I don't, think was, I don't think it was based off of jealousy because he still didn't want Elena with Damon. Why was it so wrong? Yeah, fine. Bro, well, because this is the thing. Like, this is the thing. Like, Elena went through a change. Like, we will put Caroline in Hello Brother, I guess, if that makes you feel better. But I'm not going any lower than that because I think that she deserves no, to be in yeah, I Was no. Feeling Epic. But, okay, okay, one more thing, one more thing about Caroline. Explain the whole Klaus thing in the woods. Now, I just felt like... I'm a Claireline shipper, so... Yes. What? Caroline goes in Hello Brother in a discussion. Next character... Who is this? Is that Matt? Yeah, that's Matt. <laughs> <laughs> we know where Matt belongs. My thing is, like, okay, listen, this is the thing. Let's think about this logically. Like, Matt, okay. Okay. <laughs> we just were team, like, vampires and, like, immortals and stuff. So we automatically were just annoyed with Matt because he was a human the whole time. And it was just like, okay, like, everybody else has, like, some. Even Jeremy no, had No, it's something. not even, it's not even that, oh, he was a human the whole time, so he was boring. It's the fact that. Well, he just, he was always, like, nagging. Yeah. And just, it, oh, my You're God. And then he was like, he was like, it's my town. It's my town. Oh, my gosh. What is something else that he would say? I guess remember, like, under that face that he made at the, um, at the ball. Whatever. <laughs> he took April's hand, and he was like, remember that face? Oh, my God. Okay, anyways. The other side. 
Yeah, he's blowing up. Yeah. Side. But, like, no, guy. Yeah, like, let me say this. Like, if we were humans, like, Matt was <clears throat> right for... Like, imagine if vampires were real. Yeah. Like, we would probably be Matt, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like... Because it's just like these vampires have taken no. so much from us. Like no, but he he still close to the associate himself with it. What about towards the end though? He didn't, and he was even more ag in the end when he became sheriff. Yeah, because he was more of a, it's my town when in actuality they were there before you. Period. The other side. So team supernatural. Hey, Lexi, I love Lexi. Okay, so I was feeling epic. I was feeling epic. <laughs> like, that's just decided. Oh, Damon was so messed up for killing her that early he on. And I think that is so... so I think you know that she was, like, an incredible character just because, like, I mean, like, he had in just, like, that one episode to where, like, when he came back in season two, even as, like, ghost, you were like, yes, Lexi's yeah, back. Like, yeah. I was feeling epic. And then, she really was. And then she decided to not come back in season, what, five, when she could have from the other side, when it was falling apart, and she was like, no, I found peace. That was, yeah, I love Lexi. She was just an all-around, like, good friend. Yeah. And then she was trying to even um help Damon, like, in, like, ooh, a flashback. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, anyways, so Esther... Yeah, a <laughs> Let's explain I why. <laughs> Let's explain why. Um, she literally forced vampirism upon her children. Yeah, she's. And and for what? Because Michael was like, I need my children to be stronger than the werewolves. Yeah. And then she tried to kill all of them. Yeah. Um. What other trash thing did she do on the original? She. Silas. <laughs> Honestly, I was feeling epic. <laughs> Silas was cool, man. Like, I think that Paul Wesley really played his role of Silas so good. Like, you can just, the distinct difference. I think that's the thing about Nia Dobrev and Paul Wesley is that they played their double ganger roles so, like, separately, but just, like, like, they just felt like two different people, you know? Yeah. Um, I was just, just, I was just like, a baddie. <laughs> A a ba- he was a baddie when he put Stefan inside of that like yes. that same thing he was tormenting him see you talk about like villains like oh everybody loves a good villain Silas was a good villain yeah I like Silas yeah see this is the next one though we're about to disagree on because I stand I love Catherine Pierce Katarina Petrova <laughs> she was just a terrible person um I mean well she did well well, both her and Elena were terrible people. <laughs> Just the way that they, like, messed with Stefan and Damon like okay. that. Like, Okay, let's read it like this. Catherine was hunted because she was a doppelganger. Mm-hmm. She was hunted by Niklaus so that he could literally take her and just use her. Mm-hmm. She was... When did Jennifer get her child? Oh, yeah. So she turned into a vampire, which meant that Klaus slaughtered her entire family, except mm-hmm. for her child. Mm-hmm. But she was still left there thinking, like, I don't have a child anymore, basically. Okay. Her entire family was just gone. Okay. You're only holding a gun against her because how she played with Stefan and Damon when actually she was a great villain. Who doesn't love Catherine? I'm listening. <laughs> All I'm saying is I refuse to put Catherine below. Hello, brother. I Hello, the, brother. I put her in the cure, but that's just my personal opinion. I was happy when she died. I was not. I was like, please stay inside of Elena's body. Elena's so annoying. Ew, I'm gagging. That's that's Kai. I love a good villain. I won't even lie. No, he was freaking <laughs> psycho. Like, okay, literally, I like Catherine better than Kai. Really? Kai was terrible, and he, oh, yeah. he ruined that show. No. No, he just made things impossible. It was like you could not get a break with him. That's a man such a good villain because he kept on, it I was reoccurring. I'm just saying, like, you like good You're villains You're making so many stuff. sounds on the table. Sorry. <laughs> you you, you put like it down there. good villains and stuff, but I didn't like him. He was really making me mad. Okay, fine. And just the way he tortured Bonnie. Oh, yeah, see, that's the thing is that I love Bonnie so much. I, I'll put him in the cure. Are you serious? He deserves an eternity of misery. <laughs> He and got just that. Like Esther. He got that on the show, though. He got his journey of misery. At the end. Exactly. I feel like keep him right there. <laughs> I don't want to put Kai there. Look, we already compromised with Kat and no. her little brother. Please, let me put Kai in the cure. Oh, what? Uh, 
Fine, we'll put him. Okay. This makes me so sad. She I was feeling epic. epic. <laughs> I was. Oh my god, it was so sad. I remember watching. I remember like watching on TV the episode where it was like she was diagnosed with cancer and it was like seemed like Caroline like fight for that and that was just so heartbreaking. I watched um the Comic Con thing where they were like. How, talking about how they want to give like a death that like you just couldn't fix yeah. with like supernatural stuff and that was so why sad why did they want to do that because it was only right and just because like to like introduce to, like the show like you can't solve everything just but yeah <laughs> so i mean i was feeling epic sheriff forbes you have a oh, he just had great like um interactions with people like lines with people like damon and even like I don't like Elena, but also Elena, too. She was a genuine character. Yeah, she was a real one. And then, like, he even, like, started, like, caring about Caroline later on, like, after she, like, accepted the fact she was a vampire and everything, so, yeah. Um, I feel like he kind of made them closer, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because in, like, the first season, like, they were not. Yeah. Um, this is Finn, I think. Um, my least favorite original. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Because he's a mama's boy. Yeah. And you're a mama's boy to a person that wants to kill you. Yeah. Who's I much preferred him as Vincent, but that's a whole other yeah. TV show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but uh, anyways, so, in Eternity Misery? Yeah. 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 You can stick with your mama. Yeah. Mickey Donovan. Mickey Donovan. I think it's so interesting that you can, um, you can hate a character so quickly in this show, because Vicky lived to what episode? Like, either it's three or maybe six? <laughs> no, she didn't even make it to six. I think that six was, like, a different story. Anyway, not even, like, that long. I did not like Vicky, um, yeah. so she can get an eternity of misery you think she's is she not the other side because remember when she like tried to come back and he tried to kill elena yes i don't like elena but like still yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the other side okay that bitch right there who I is this april she was oh ass. my god april <clears throat> yeah. literally just <clears throat> but her dad did die <laughs> her dad did die but even still she was weird Oh yeah, she was really annoying. Oh my yeah. god. Okay. Um. And then was like besties with Rebecca. It was like. Okay, but I don't think that she deserves um, to die. She can go on the other side with Matt. Really? You, you think she was that bad? They're good pals. <laughs> was she Matt's level of bad? Yeah. Yeah. I did not like April. I would have said the cure. <laughs> but I'll put her there. I don't care that much. April is not even like that relevant to me. Okay, Stefan. I, I, I like Stefan. Mm -hmm. Stefan pissed me off a lot throughout this show. Okay, honestly, I don't even want to, like, rank Stefan, like, according to season 7 and season 8, just because that was just such, like, a different vibe of, like, the show. But we do have to consider it. I just don't know how Stefan went off the deep end like that. I'm trying to remember what led him no, to I think that, killing Enzo. Because I literally think that it was like he ha like he was like being forced to by like the devil, I think. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Like he was being forced by the devil. So I don't even like consider that as like a part of like Stefan's character thing. So I just don't think that he would deserve to be put in like that low of like a place, you know? Yeah, I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't rank Stefan lower than Hello Brother, like Yeah. I mean, I feel like he deserves to be in I Was Feeling Epic. Yeah. Just because, like, his whole Ripper storyline was really good, you know what I mean? like. And he even still, like, showed up for Elena in ways. Oh, yeah, kind of 100%. After she was, like, <clears throat> a complete terrible person, yeah. And then, like, him, like, dying in the last episode so that Damon could be with Elena. Next is Enzo. Um... Here's the thing. I <laughs> I like Enzo because I like him and Bonnie. Yeah. Other than that, Enzo's trash. Like before he before he started dating Bonnie. <laughs> before he started dating Bonnie, Enzo was not a good person. I I you his... you knew Enzo from being inside the cell with Damon. Mm -hmm. And then he just kept on like showing up periodically to like torture them basically. Mm -hmm. Um was Enzo trash? See, but see, I only have good memories of Enzo because I really like him and Bonnie together. Yeah. So I would say nothing lower than The Cure. All right. So what do you want to put him in? Hello Brother or The Cure? Hello Brother. Hello Brother? Okay. <laughs> Solely because we ship Benzo. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Tyler? <laughs> really? I thought 
thought Tyler was okay. I don't like Tyler. Um, let's go over it. Tyler has some really bad anger issues, first of all. Yeah. Everybody has their flaws on this show. Second of all. Oh, he has anger issues. <laughs> second of all, he's just a douchebag. He, like, remember, like, he, like, he bullied Jer- Jeremy for, like, no reason? Yes. He bullied Jeremy for, like, no reason. He cheated on Caroline multiple times. Did he? Yes. That was never resolved. Not entirely. Because also, out. Tyler Diggs kind of, like, vanished off of, like, the show. And I was so happy about that. I was like, finally, this annoying dude has gone off the show. And then he came back randomly just to, like, what, die? We didn't. We never. It was never confirmed what happened with him and Haley. That's true. That was always in um, the air. Okay, I know this was not on Vampire Diaries and it was on the originals. But remember when Tyler tried to kill um, Haley's baby? Yes. Yeah. So, um, Trash. <laughs> And then, like, the whole, like, when he was, like, slut-shaming Caroline, but understandable, though, because, like, Klaus was his, like, enemy. Like, that's the thing that, like, really just, like, with Caroline, it was, like, she really just, really. I'm putting them above Matt. I'm fine putting them above Matt. Yeah, I do think that my like for them goes from, I was going to say from Matt to Tyler, I'm not even going to lie to you. (laughs) Do I like Tyler less than I like Matt? My true color showing. Sorry, Bonnie. I was feeling epic. I was feeling epic. I was feeling epic. Okay. Wait, why did you say sorry? I was like, what are you? Because I was cutting you off, so I said sorry. No. Oh, but of course I would not say sorry. Bonnie's my favorite character. Of course she was, and I'm feeling epic. Literally, epic. you need a Bennett witch for everything. Bonnie lost her mom, her grams, her dad, all of them people. Yeah. And then all her friends died and became vampires. That was nice and then her boyfriend, both her boyfriends Ooh. were killed. Jeremy cheated on her multiple times with all these ghost people. Bonnie has been through it all, and she is still a baddie. Yeah, they Bonnie has up. given her life for these people so many times in the show. Bonnie is, I was feeling epic. And if you disagree, then you are, you ain't got no brain. I don't like how they was trying to, like, oof. Okay, moving on. That's Damon and Stefan's mom, correct? Yeah. Oh, I don't like her. Literally. She, like, ran away from her family when, like, her husband was abusing her children. She, and then she turned into a vampire. Got into a, got into a ship with these people. And then claimed other people as her family and refused to go back to regular civilization or she had the opportunity to without these other strangers, basically. Because they were her family. So, you belong on the other side. You are worse than Esther. That says something. Yeah. Yeah. That really does say something. Damon. I was feeling epic. And his character arc, okay, was everything. You're yelling. (laughs) I love Elijah. Um, Some people don't like Elijah. Did you know that? I don't get it. I don't get it either. People are like, Elijah's boring, and I'm like, I so don't get it because Elijah is so. Oh my god, Elijah's, Elijah's first introduction onto the show was that whenever he ripped that guy's heart out from the back of the house with Rose. I think that was his first mm-hmm. introduction. And then his second one was whenever um, he threw the he threw like the coins yes. into the yes. chef's kiss. Wow. Um, he was bad, man. Like he always had this. Mm-hmm. And he was just so like, okay, I'm going to murder you now. Yeah. Like it was just. Like, um, I feel like I feel like people could definitely, if you've not watched the originals, then that's probably why you don't like Elijah. Yeah. Because Elijah was a bad ass. Yeah. In the original. Like I still liked him, like uh, even before in Vampire Eyes Alone, but like in the originals, that just really amplified that. Yeah. So yeah, Elijah is definitely, and I was feeling epic. Elijah was a fine man. Next is Klaus. Um. <laughs> incredible villain incredible Who? okay let, let's go over it they invented him and elijah invented the sun and the moon curse right it was him and elijah or was it just or was it just him or was it just the the michelson family that wasn't like esther doing all that no i think that i think that it was him and elijah or it was just klaus that invented the sun and the moon curse with some witch it was a fake curse <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then oh man it just I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think about what he did. That was just so, like, crazy. I mean, he just... What didn't he do? What didn't he do? Oh, my God. You, you understand the root for Klaus's, like, evil ways. Yeah, he has trauma. He was, he was, like, tortured. He was 
like beat and tortured by his father because he was his illegitimate son. Yeah. But like that's not his fault. That was his mama's fault. Um, he, he has major trust issues though. I, and definitely. I do understand why people would be aggravated with him, especially his family, because it was this like. All because you forever, kept on daggering them. Yes, like. And you got bored with them, but like still you play the role of a villain just great. So. Yeah. We love Klaus. And yeah. He's a little cute. Next is Rebecca. I liked her better on the original. That's my thing is I liked her a lot better on the originals. Yeah. Um, it's because her character wasn't like as like annoying. Yeah. I don't know why she got with Matt. Um. Because he was a human. <laughs> he was a human. He was simple. Um, I think that's really really interesting though about just how she craves being human so much, but like she's also just balanced like her family. I think Rebecca's a dope character. She's not an Alice playing epic though. She's, she's probably. Not hello brother either. I would say she's at like the top of the cure. Like she's borderline. Okay, a lark. I think he died too early in the show. Which time? <laughs> the first time. The first time? Yeah. Not the time when he came back and then all the other stuff. I, yeah, I just think that he died too early in the show. Um, I thought that his character arc was pretty good, though. Oh, yeah. I, I love Alaric's character arc of just being, like, obsessed with, like, finding his wife. And yeah. then, like, he finds out about his wife and then, like, he ends up with Jenna. And then, like, oh, what happened next? That was one of the time he even, like, I love his friendship with Damon. I think that's, like, one of my favorite things about Alaric. Yeah. And I was so upset to see, like, him and Damon have to, like, fight it out whenever he had, um, whenever Esther, like, done that thing to him or whatever. Yeah, but they fought it out, though. Yeah, and then he died. Yeah. Because Alina died, so he died. And that was just so, like, upsetting because I was like, no, like, Alaric, like, I love you. Alaric can go in Hello Brother. Hello Brother, I don't yeah. Think he was that epic. He wasn't epic, especially because like how he had interacted with Caroline at like the end of the show and he was like, These are my kids, they're not your kids. Whenever Caroline actually like carried those kids yeah. for like months. Like that was super messed up of him. I was and honestly, I really just love Alaric because like his dialogue with other characters. Um his relationship with Caroline was I that was weird. Anyways, Rose. She's epic, in my opinion. Yeah, I love Rose. I love when she got her piece, I loved her. Oh, I loved oh, her, I loved her with relationship Damon. with Damon. Oh yes. my god, I it was so sweet. I would watch her episodes all the time just because I loved her character so much. It was just really cute, like when Damon gave her some piece. Yeah. Oh my god. That was so precious, and that's when things really changed for me with Damon. I was yeah. Like, I so. I was feeling epic, definitely. Also, I just love the actor. Yeah. <laughs> Grams. I'm gonna start crying. Anyways, um, I was feeling like, epic. <laughs> Literally, I feel like this is another example of just like you know when a character is just so good because Grams wasn't even in those many char- in those many episodes before she had died yeah. in season one. Yeah. And yet her death broke me. Grams was such like a strong, fem- a strong black female character. But then that's another thing that I was talking about. I didn't like how the people on Vampire Diaries, how they had to write, they basically wrote Bonnie to be a strong black woman. Because it yeah. was like, how much heartache can we give her? And I hate that narrative that, like, with the strong black woman thing, like, oh, you gotta endure all of this to be that strong. Mean, like, that was you so can still angry. argue the fact that Elena also went through all the same things because she lost her aunt, she lost her mom and her dad and her brother. Yeah. And her adoptive parents. It just really seemed like they were coming for Bonnie, though, because it was like, it wasn't that necessary to kill Grams off the show. It really wasn't. It I wasn't mean, necessary. A lot of it's deaths like weren't it wasn't necessary. necessary to kill Enzo. But, like, you could see how it was like, okay, but it did have, like, a. a oh, a yeah, but obviously these things had. On the show. Yeah. But, like, killing Grams was just like. These things had, like, lasting impacts yeah. on Bonnie, obviously. Um. We can further on. I guess I love Grams because like, each time that like, Grams had reappeared on the show, I was so happy to like see yeah. you like talking about Bonnie. I was so upset whenever the other side was like torturing her. Yes. And I was so upset. Anyway. Were they really though? <coughs> or yeah. he was like he was like you upset the other the spirits now like, taking out on me. Okay. Is this Elena? Um. I don't like Elena, <laughs> but you can talk first. I don't really have much to defend her, but I'm not on the I hate Elena bandwagon. Like I can't stand her. Yeah, Elena. I feel like she's a very polarizing character. It's either like you love Elena or you just don't really like her at all. Um, 
it's not even like it's not even like she did anything like wrong honestly it's just the first time i watched the show she wasn't that bad until she got to the point where she was really bad which sounds probably confusing but then it's like after you start rewatching the show and you already know that you're just like you are a trash person you know I don't think she was trash. Yeah, I really don't. She's like, she's just so like annoying. I don't know. It's like her whining, and then how she always. You just said Elena lost her mom. She (laughs) lost her dad. She lost her aunt. She lost her brother. She lost her caregiver. Like all of her friends became vampires. Like. And then so did she. Like Elena. She did not (laughs) want to. Like Elena did kind of go. You're you're wrong. Elena literally said she liked herself better as a vampire. But yeah, it wasn't like Elena was like consciously like, I want to be a vampire. Yeah, but then she started to like herself more. So point blank period, she was happy that she became a vampire. Okay. <laughs> I don't think Elena deserves me to rank high. I, I'll put her in the cure if you feel like we should. Michael? So Michael's next. Michael? You can go in hello, brother. I'm not going to give him epic because he was... He was bad to clouds but he was a good yeah. villain he was a really good villain that's the thing yeah he played his role really he played his, he role. Played his role really really good ex- in both shows honestly mm-hmm. and he really stuck to it um wow okay so this is our final list of all the characters of vampire Diaries, from most epic to the other side we're not even gonna name off the um, irrelevancy ones because we don't know half their names. Probably, it's nothing against them. It's just we don't know them. Um, yeah, okay. I care about the travelers. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Like I was saying, our view of our most epic character is Bonnie Bennett. Coming in second, we have Klaus Michelson, then Damon Salvatore, Stefan Salvatore, Elijah Michelson, Silas, Grams, Sheriff Forbes. Lexi, Lexi. <laughs> I forgot her name. <laughs> and then we have Rose. Next category, hello brother. We have Caroline Forbes, Catherine, Alari. <laughs> Victoria is not for Catherine, but agree or disagree. Fine. Alari. Michael. Michael Michelson. Ugly name. <laughs> Enzo. Ketsia. And then, for the hero category, we have Rebecca Michelson. Raina. Raina. <laughs> I keep on forgetting her name. Oh my god. Haley. Elena. Jeremy. Jenna. Sybil. <laughs> Cole. Professor Shane. Joe. Pearl. Caroline's dad. Yeah, and nameless. Name. I don't even know if he had a name. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler's mom. Mayor Lockwood? No. Oh. Mayor Lockwood. Oh, Mayor Lockwood. <laughs> Luke. In Eternity of Misery, we have Kai. Kai. He deserves it the most. Matt. <laughs> Thing. He's, with, he's, with, he's with like killers. <laughs> but Matt killed somebody. Anyways. His wife. <laughs> <clears throat> Esther. That crazy woman. And then we have Finn and Mason. Those who belong to the other side are. Tyler Lockwood. This is, by the way, this is the most trash people of the bunch. Sorry. Yeah, we took Matt out of there because he did not deserve it. Yeah. Sorry. But Esther can honestly go in there. But we're done. We're done. We're, we're, we're done. Tyler Lockwood, Lily, Vicky Donovan, Isabel, Bonnie's mom. <laughs> I don't know. I think was was Matt's mom named Jane. Oh, mm-hmm. Matt's mom. Liv. Liv. You mean like Eric or? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like cocaine addict, honestly. Um, Jenna's ex boyfriend, the news reporter. John. Anna. Anna. <laughs> Alaric's ex girlfriend. Yeah, and then. Matt, for some reason. 
I think it has nothing. It's just like the same complex that we have, like Elena, because her being excessively annoying, so we just end up bringing her there. But yeah, that's it. Yeah. We've ranked all the characters. Do you agree? Cause I think we're right. Yeah, I think so too. I think that Bonnie's just the superior character. Superior character 